Um, I bought a couple Axtell puppets, the old man and old woman. Um, I made a puppet, my Jose character, the bright orange guy. Mm -hmm. uh, I actually learned how to sew enough that I could sew that material. Uh, I'm impressed. <laughs> so anyone that's ever sewn anything, my wife says, you're insane for using that fabric as your first project. <laughs> it's this big, fuzzy, very thick material. It was very difficult to sew with. But mm -hmm. I did it, and that same character is still with me. Um, so that's what I did, and I started really marketing the heck out of the show at that point, put a website up together, signed on to Gig Masters, which has been good for me. It's not good for everybody. It's been good for me. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's – I forget what the question was, but that's <laughs> where it got to. Oh, a leave of absence. So that's mm -hmm. what I did. I took the four months of leave of absence, and you know, it was a big risk um, because part of that aspect of the way it worked was when you take that, there's no guarantee that there's going to be something for you when you come back. So it, I was looking at that as this is either a four month break, or it's the start of the new the new job because uh, there were no guarantees. Okay. Yeah, fortunately for me, it worked out well that I was able to go back and find something because I needed that extra year and a half. Now you uh, went professional the first time in pulled the plug in two thousand seven. 2007 and um let me because a lot of a lot of people know you're on the second generation of your career here yeah and uh but uh, um what did you find to be the most difficult thing to staying in business for yourself uh the the absolute biggest thing that i did wrong is that i did not respect my time uh I had been in the corporate world. I had been in a world where everybody else was telling me what to do. I mean, I was in a leadership position, so I defined a lot of that. But still, I was very much driven by other people's calendars and other people's expectations. And when I pulled the plug, there was no one watching over me. Nobody telling me, you must do this now, and I expect you to be here then. And, you know, the first four months of um, of my first jump out of the corporate world. I did all the projects around the house that have been piling up for all those years. I built a beautiful shed out in the backyard, uh, converted a... That was actually strategic. I built the shed, but it was a lot of fun and it took me a lot longer than it should have. The purpose of that was to free up the space that all the garden tools were that became my practice studio. Mm -hmm. That was really the motivating factor. But still, it was a big distraction. I, I was volunteering for everything i was you know saying oh yeah i can help with that sure i can help with that i just did not respect the value of my own time that was the number one biggest issue uh the number two thing is that i was raised as an engineer i mean i i, I was educated as an engineer that was how i spent my whole career a leadership position i never knew what sales was about and anyone that's in this business or anything like this will recognize that the reality is I'm in the marketing and sales business, and once in a while I get to go on stage. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just did not really get that until it was kind of almost too late. 